Day two in the Backchat Villa. The cast is scattered around the house. Nunu is in the hot tub telling a story about her surgery. I'm wearing this, you know, like, mm. just coming out like this. It's too, I'm too exposed. Oh, please. You were just showing your panty and your breasts. <laughs> I'm out. Trust me, dog. Trust me, dog. We see it. We see it. Everything. Are you comfortable, dog? Did I enjoy you out? Hey, what's the scar? <laughs> what's the scar on your belly, bro? Sorry, you did it, chef. Oh, I had an operation. Oh, what? Yeah. Um, Let's see. I didn't know it was that. Let me see the arts of it. That we were talking about, see? That's art right there. A nice what? Man said it's art. You shanked it? Yeah. Because yeah. oh, that's a story. I mean, oh, whoa, shit. there's a story behind so it. There yeah. you yeah. 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 Come on, man. It was what, sorry? Art, of course. Keyhole surgery. Oh, oh what? yeah, keyhole. You know keyhole surgery? No. Where, where they keep, the, um, dig a hole and go into the yeah. crack. Oh, that time. Okay, okay, okay. Well, okay. that's where they needed to go, basically. Oh, it's good they didn't cut you up for that and just put it through. Yeah. And then use the micro. Is that what they're doing? When they got that. The camera to look inside. How do you know? Because we see on casualty. Right. No, my mum had it. <laughs> I hope you see it. <laughs> <laughs> my mum had it for um, fibroids. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she had a keyhole. Like, you can get a keyhole surgery for like for a lot of things, stuff, actually. Yeah, for quite oh. a few things. No, a lot of things you can do. It, yeah, yeah, it's not. It's not a. Uh, see, it's not a. Yeah, that's what I was doing earlier on. I like. I look at just notice one day out of the blue, <laughs> nothing happened. But basically, when food starts to come into my stomach, it took a little bit longer to digest. To so give you heartburn and stuff. Um, no, but you know when you eat, yeah, it just goes down. It goes down you yeah. don't, you don't think. Eat but money. I started to notice it slowly by slowly. <laughs> and it, don't, back in those days, I used to use a lot of chips, mm, chicken and chips in the chicken shop. And um, my mum used to say, oh, it's because you're eating too much chips. Stop eating the yeah, chips. Yeah, that's what they always say. So you I stopped eat eating the chips. chips. It didn't change. It was still happening, and it was even getting worse to the point where I'm noticing everything going down. Basically, six months later. They've tried everything. I went doctors. Is, is it this one? No. Is it this one? No. So basically, they do, that's what they do. They, they do a lot of different tests, mm. and then um, basically they diagnose me with something called achalasia. Okay. Mm. Basically, what it is is when the food enters my esophagus. Um, okay, this is how your esophagus is. Mm. It opens and closes mm. as you eat. My one is stuck. So think about when you're trying to eat food. Just build it's it just up there. So would you want me out? The grieving and stuff like that. I was going to make a joke. No. Stuck as bad as. Oh, you're so dumb. <laughs> Wrong time. <laughs> Wait, what is it? What's stuck as bad as? There was times where I, would, I couldn't even eat. Basically, I'll cook food. I want it. It's nice. I'm hungry. Oh, you said something about that in one of the yeah, episodes. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, she right. never said what it was. Yeah. She just said that it, and she, uh, she couldn't eat. Yeah, yeah. I lost a lot of weight. If you see me, I was really anorexic. And basically, the, uh, the food cannot pass down. So I had to what? do the um, Tube, surgery. Oh, Tube food or nothing? No, nothing. even water. To the point where I couldn't even drink water. Fair and you know when you're hungry, you're angry. Yeah. <laughs> hey. that added on to it. It added on to it. I was at uni. It was a lot of stress, let's just say that. But um, I had an operation. It's basically, you could do, there's three different procedures you can do. You can do Botox. One sec. Uh, Botox? Yeah, Botox. It softens the, um, the muscles. Where yeah. would you do the Botox? It's there. From in the, the neck? Esophagus. They'll have to go back. Oh, okay, yeah. so it's not out, it's not exterior. It's no, exterior. no, 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 okay. yeah. You can do a balloon, which basically means they put a small balloon up there Perfect. to expand the esophagus okay, so that yeah. it's opening. Or you can do the surgery, which means they cut it off and they then, because the gas, they have to do something else so that the gas doesn't just come up, basically. Yeah, really, no, don't yeah, you run the risk yeah, yeah. of, like, infection and stuff like that? Because like, obviously, once they cut it out... I think I'm going to nah. go make some breakfast. Stuff no, 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 no. Ooh, what are you cooking up? Yes, babe. Don't kill something anybody. Fantastic. <laughs> don't so I've done the operation, and it was the quickest one. Hey, big man, tomorrow we're going to shop all right. All of you got burgers. I've had enough of this, bro. <laughs> Straight burgers and hijabs, because I've had enough of this. This is terrible. <laughs> That's well, crazy. thank God you got through that. That's crazy. Man. I still kind of suffer from it though. Let me not lie to you. But it's um, not to the degree where I can't eat. But if you see me choking, it's good that I'm telling you lot now because I don't want you to think that something's going you're on. Joking. I'm actually oh, just like. So I can't hit you in the back. Can you? No, 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 no. Listen don't do that. Like, I, I, I won't be actively choking. But if you see me looking uncomfortable, don't mm. think that something's happening. I'm just managing it. I oh, go okay. through it. That's what, I'm, I'm used to it now. You don't feel, feel sorry for these girls when they choke, like, yeah, yeah. Some people think, oh, yeah. she's too drunk. Like, this is yeah, what I used like to get told. Yeah, like she's too drunk. Choking, yeah, that's, that's, why yeah. that's why she's vomiting. No, she vomiting. got um, something with her throat. She's stuck as bad as... Oh, it's not funny, it was. Nuni gets it, you mean? She didn't even hear it. In Spirits of Bonding, let's see how the cast like their new task. 
Right, guys, um, I think we've got something to do. So this says, dear cast, that's us lot, in the spirit of bonding, you will decide your shopping list together. You have 250 points. P.S. Anything you don't see that you cannot live without can potentially be won later. Happy bonding. So I'm guessing... Wow. I need tampons. So this is our food now. Independent black woman. Please, guys, you know my dietary needs. We've got 250 points, yeah? 250 points to spend. Someone make a record. Can I get a pen and paper? Use that, use that. We just need pen. All right, Esther's going to record the points that we're spending. So we've got 250. For how long? We've got 250 um, points. So I think every point has... Every item that we want has a point. And also, I think this is for five days. Five days. Yeah. Let's just buy what we want, because it can come for five days, we can finish it in two, we don't know. All right. Esther's the mummy of this shit right now, OK? okay. Now, S, S, can we go through this and just see what's there yeah. first before we start slapping shit on the list? Because oh, yeah, yeah. alcohol is more important than anything. No, chicken. You said chicken, can, we just, can I just put the chicken from yeah, the That's what I said, straight away. Right, but can you not just see what's there first before you start adding? Let's start with the breakfast first, don't it? Go to the bottom, go to the bottom. I just want to see what's there. Let's just start from the top and work our way down. Um, they said start from the top. No, because we've seen the top no, already. We're starting, no, we haven't picked nothing from the top yet. You can't go in chronological order because you haven't seen what's there. Esther, should we agree to start with breakfast first or the essentials? I'm the queen of this villa, so naturally, of course, it's only right that I take my place in the kitchen as a woman does. My mother always said I was always the head and never the tail. You are the shepherd and not the sheep, darling. Mommy is home. You don't have to allocate places when it comes to me. I'm going to be in the kitchen and I'm going to handle the food. Wait, why are you not talking so much? We've decided what we're doing. We're going to scan it and see what there is individually. Then we go through it as a team. And can, and I, just, can I just say something? Even though we're saying we want, for example, I'm noticing they're saying minced beef, one kg. One kg is small. That's for me and my daughter, Don. So we're going to need more than one. So, so those are the things that we need to consider. So like so, I said, you need to start, you should probably start with essentials and then what's left over, we carry on. Do we have any vegetarian, vegetarians here that don't eat There's meat? There's grass outside. You one vegetarian like and one lactose, lactose intolerant. So okay. there's a cliff with rocks. You can't even eat rock. Is everyone happy for mince, mince beef? No. It's not a biggie. I, don't, I don't personally don't think we should invest chicken. in that. Chicken. Is everybody happy for chicken? Let's be real. Everybody's happy for chicken. That's not an essential. That's not an essential. Let's start with the essential. Chicken first. is not essential. Ah, what's wrong with you? And you have muscle like this. Mark, we know that you're on steroids. We know that you take. Pills. Everyone would assume because he's got big fake plastic muscles that he's eating nice, his protein is up in his diet. No, he pops pills. Mark is on steroids, guys. We got minced beef, we got chicken and drumsticks and fries. We got dairy products. Okay, wait, you just One read it out. You read it out. Oh my god, we can actually read. Alright, we got fresh meat. Kilogram of minced beef, that's six points. Chicken, one kilo drumsticks and ties. Yo, we had more than 30 eggs today, so we need more than that. Halloumi, cheese, Greek yogurt, muscle man. Um, apples, strawberries, grapes, eggs, carrots, broccoli, tomatoes, cucumber, Cucumba. sweet pepper, <laughs> Cucumba. white onion, racist, garlic <laughs> bulbs, I thought that was garlic bulbs, <laughs> sweet corn, baked beans. This is definitely not Butlins. Right about now, I am being told what I can eat by people I hardly know. And then you've got B Money over there calling Esther mummy. Listen, I've only got one mum and she don't tell me what to eat. I'm going to suggest we should spend 20 points on chicken. Huh? Are you crazy? 20 points? No, that's too much. Milk? Yes. Milk, milk? milk. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't, I don't. Put your hand up if you yeah, want but something. I don't drink milk. Okay, fine. put your hand up if you want something. So, because you don't drink milk, we shouldn't drink milk. They don't even put the milk that I normally drink. I can drink the, not cow's milk. We're moving on. But there's no option we're for it. We're not that. there yet. We're going through the list, the section by section. Mm. The list goes on and on and on. The housemates have to get this right. Any slight miscalculation could potentially cause chaos in the villa. Can I just say, bear in mind, yeah, I don't know how you guys consume your oats, but the only thing I want to say is, me personally, I only have oats with peanut butter, frozen berries and honey. Now, if I don't have these ingredients, I'm not eating this trash. <laughs> so, is anybody putting their hand up for cereal, which makes sense? Cornflakes, yeah? Giving the current climate. Crumpets. Yeah, let's get croissants. Croissants, though, that's a snack. Oh, that shit's five points, man. Crumpets, too. We don't need crumpets, though. Yeah. Who wants crumpets? Who wants crumpets? Just you two. I yeah, just two, so no crumpets, sorry. Can you didn't qualify. Croissants? Put no, your hands up for no. croissants.
Bro, who's ordering crumpets, bro? I say man's black, bro. I never see a black person eat a crumpet. Where's a crumpet, bro? Crumpet and croissant. Vavavu, that's what you want. Big man, get real food. What's wrong with the people? What's wrong with the man there, bro? What's going on? Crumpet. Ah, uh, nah, this Brexit thing is mad, cuz. Why are you people being like this? Five points for croissants. She wants crumpets. They're two points. And you lot want to get all croissants, so why can't we get what we want and you get what you want? All the things that she says she's wanted, I've put it down. Yeah, but if she's a vegetarian, it does not mean that she cannot have glutenies and all this bull crap as well. You might just drink the water, there's a pool there. <laughs> 250 points is the mark, and the cast are very close to completing their shopping task. However, there seems to be a hold up. You guessed it. Hurricane Nunu is in town. Honestly, can I have a suggestion? I think the chicken is too much. I think the chicken should be... No, 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 because I think the chicken should be half for another bottle. I don't think you should speak no. <laughs> <laughs> Because that three bottles will not last us. I know it will not last us. Everyone here drinks. We need energy. You want to be drinking, drinking, not chicken in your system. Chicken don't give you energy. I don't eat chicken. Look how much energy I've got. I've got better energy. I don't eat chicken. You've got chicken and you've got alcohol. You as a vegetarian, you're not eating chicken because you believe it's destructive for your body. Is alcohol not worse? So instead of you to even trade it for something more nutritious, you want to trade it for alcohol? Please, man. The way you, you know, Adrian talks, it's like, well, maybe got a bit of hate there or something. Like, I don't know. Obviously, you're an established artist, you know, you put in the work and that. Well, I'm not going yeah, around and around. No, no, All I'm but saying is you're that. You're saying my heart is if black. If you heard me in the room like and good. you didn't like it, you should come to no, the you, to my face. But I did say it to your face. I've now walked you. Yeah, but I did say it to your face. When you heard me in the room, when you heard me in the room with Lucas and that, and you at the door, you should have entered and been like, Ruba, what are you saying? It's not even necessary to do all of that because we had the conversation up there. We had the conversation up there. We had the conversation up there. Me and Riva had a conversation in her room this morning. Nothing that I thought was particularly deep. Differences of opinions. And I come downstairs to hear her speaking about me in a room with the door <laughs> pushed up. I'm not pleased about this. This isn't something that I like. I don't like the idea of overhearing people who are supposed to be my friends talking about me in a room, especially when you're telling the world or telling the people in the room that I have a dark heart over a difference of opinion. I don't understand that. You said your piece, I said my piece. It should have been squashed there. Let you did not need to come downstairs into a room, close the door, and start talking about your heart is darkened as an artist. Didn't it? So as an artist, I'm supposed to come and accept any old nonsense just because I said I don't like something. Wait, Period. I, I never said the guy the don't deserve when anything. I, I never said anything I bad about the, the guy. I simply why said I do not me, like it. When I so why are you turning into when something I ugly? The room, did you and the girl not conversate anything at all? Me and I swear what? to God. Bro, what did I say to you when Riva left the room? Because obviously I'm two-faced. What did I say? Did I say anything about Riva? I said I don't have an opinion. Is that what I said? Right. I didn't say nothing Perfect. else. So Did I say your heart was dark? Hold Did on. I say your heart Hold was on. this? So or your heart was that? I didn't say anything like oh, that. Fuck you, man. You're just shouting. You're moving like a dickhead. What? what to, I'm trying to talk to you. Why are you shouting? Because to tell them now my heart is black. Like, why can't I do that? Why can't I do because that? The same way you can do that, do that is the same way I can come out here and vent. Yeah? yeah, exactly. So I went to vent to Lucas. So why are you getting upset? You said that you want to vent. I want to vent. So why are you shouting? Okay, we both vented then. Fantastic. Great. Cool. We're all chilling in our bedroom, room four. I've got um, T, Atelia, to play this yay tune. This, I haven't heard it before. I want to hear it. Everyone's talking about it. So they bust the tune, skanking. I'm like, you know what? This guy's done his thing. I understand why it's blown and that. Tune's finished now. Adrian made a comment like, the tune's shit or he's, he still didn't deserve to blow up. But something along them lines. And I just thought, fuck this shit. You get me? High energy, clap, clap to the guy. And you're coming with all that. And I just said to him, you know what, brother? Fuck this. I said, why are you like this? Why are you like this? Like, what's your problem? He's still mediocre and I'll still say it. Period. <laughs> My heart can be black, it can be blue, it can be purple, I it can be green, it can be pink. Black, bro. She, she didn't say that. I'm not what did I say your heart is black? I don't mean use words like that. I don't mean use words like that. Your glasses are dark. <laughs> <laughs>
Your glasses are bleak. I when you were you. in that room, Listen what did you say about my heart? Well, if you keep quiet, then I can explain okay, to you. I'm I quiet. said to you, this generation is so fucked. There's so much hating. And it, what? Let me finish. Don't cut me. Let me finish. Don't cut me. Let me just this. explain. Yeah. The guy's doing his thing. You don't like it. That's fine. You said this guy's shit. Heart, yeah. You said this guy's heart. shit. Or whatever you said, it wasn't good. And I said that to you. If you ain't got nothing good to say, better you leave it. And then I just said, listen, what hold did on. I say about the guy that was disrespectful. Hold on. It's that not, I didn't it's not like disrespectful. It. It's so how is that hating? Is listen. It's not a case of disrespect. I don't like something. All you said, this guy's doing his thing, whether you like it or not. I'm entitled to say it. Fine. But you. You, you still, is it, but is I didn't it a say, positive thing right. that you were saying? And what I is, said to on, you, no, no. I don't really want to hear that. It's a negative <laughs> thing. I didn't wish, wish bad for him in the first place. I simply said I didn't like it. That's not, you don't deserve success. You don't deserve to win. You don't deserve to blow. I said I didn't like it. So where are you coming with all of that extra shit? Unless Adrian say? says it. When I asked you whether he deserves to blow or not, what did you say to me? Adrian, be What funny. did I say? You tell me. What did I say? You tell me. I was about that's, to finish. That's why you can't answer because no, you said say, to me let no. Me say, let me say And then when I said no, you were like, well, but that's not the point though. At this point, we've been in the house one day. I do not know my relationship with Lucas. I don't know my relationship with any of them. We have historically had issues in this house with these characters. The person that I'm supposed to be cool with, I walk down the stairs to see you in a room talking about me having a dark heart with people who historically have not shown me love. I'm irritated because it's like, where does your loyalties lie? We need to make room for everyone. Yeah, because when we're not making room for people, that's how you're left with outcasts. And I know what outcast is. I've experienced that, and that's why my heart is very open to all. Even if I don't agree, I will make room to understand. That might be somebody else's taste. And so what happens for all those people that enjoy that? Where, where's their serving? Where's their plate of food? Everything matters. So I ran to Reva to tell her what Adrian was saying, because <laughs> it was jokes. He got mad about this, my yay guy and the fact that he's blown up and he don't feel that he deserved it, something like that. Yeah, I don't know, it just, it just went left. Just a couple, you know, hours ago we were in bikini. Now the temperatures have dropped significantly and this is when they want to ask us to do tasks with cold ice water. So Mark is uh, making us run up and down to get warm, as you can see, because it's very, very cold. And I'm getting tired. God knows, I'm, look at me, I'm out of breath and I haven't even started the task. And they want me, ah, we're stopping them, ah, I can't do this, I can't do this. It's that time of the day again, where we meet our beautiful host, Wumi Bello. I wonder what she has in store for us. How was your first night in the villa, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to let you know what your first task of today is. It's a game called Chasing Clout. Mm. Clout Chaser! Yeah. Yeah. Clout Chaser! As you can see, some of you guys are already aware of the terminology. Okay, so to play the game, we need two leaders. The leaders have already been chosen, and they are Nunu, and Mark. Can Nunu, can I get you on this side? And Mark, can I get you on this side? The captains need to choose who they want in their team. So can you choose one person first, Nunu, and then you ask her? Esther. Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> you know I wanted to be in Mark's team. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make this fair. I'm going to make this fair. Let's go. You don't know my name. Oh, oh. Undeserving. I don't know your name properly. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna apologize. Right. And then I'm gonna ask you for your name properly. Delia, okay, Delia, come over, let's go. No, no. See, I was gonna pick Lucas, but I thought, no, I'm gonna make it. See, go, go, let's go. You're on your own, bitch. <laughs> I saw him got his SIA badge. I don't even know who's he feeling for. You're coming for me today. We're going to fight. Okay, so as you can see, this team has an odd number. Mark, as the captain, you're going to play twice with Gogo. -Go. No problem. Perfect. I've got a little rope, rope here, which okay. means you guys have to tie yourselves within your twos to try and run together, three legged race, to try and get inside this bowl over here and get the apples. Is that clear? Yeah, so you have to pick one person from your twos to be the person who's going to put their okay, face down to get the apple. The aim of the game is to see who's going to have the most apple in the bowl. 
obviously me coming here, I've been sick anyway. Like my voice was going, my voice comes back. I've had like a cold or whatever. I'm not putting my head in water. However, I was told that if I don't participate, then obviously we get disqualified. I'm not a quitter. So we've patterned it so I can still do the task, but I don't have to put my head in water. So happy days. My hot spice, my tantalized, Wumi Bello is telling me whilst I'm looking in her eyes that we're gonna bob some apples, what is surprise? So I'm just looking at her like, what, your apples, yeah? Please don't make me switch. I don't want to switch. I know it's not for you. are in the kitchen talking about B Money and other housemates. He isn't bench pressing this time, but he is definitely getting something off his chest. It's quite obvious that I don't really know anybody, nor do I trust anybody. But from the outside world, me and Lucas have a rapport. I've known of him, he knows of me. So what other better person to talk to about little, little issues that I'm having with one or two individuals? I'm a bit reserved. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't come out your show. I don't think they're ready for me, man. For me, it's a straight up thing. There's no way that if I come out, it's gonna stay like that. It's not gonna go back in. Mm -hmm. So for me, when certain people are tempting, they're poking, making all these stupid comments, eventually for me, it's gonna get peak. Is it, is it to a point where it's getting to you? Or, cause you know, at certain points you gotta make a, make a play. On that, right, okay, cool, I need to circle man mm. or I need to let man know. One of the two. You get what I'm saying? There's two different people right here, yeah. One of them, I can allow it. I can say, you know what, if I say it to him, stop, he'll stop. But then I have to look at the reason why he's doing it. And then one of them, there's a whole different ballgame. What do you think is the reason why he's doing it? For me, it's a thing of, it's an inferior complex. Okay. See, when someone keeps on... Send it, send it, send it. Send it, send it, send it, send it, send it. You're like, rah. At first you say, oh, cool. One joke, cool. Two, two joke, cool. Three joke, it's taking a piss. You're playing on insecurities that you know that if I get up and slap you, <laughs> no, of course, bro, because let's be, let's be, if I get up and slap you, because at the end of the day, bro, like, you're calling me, what's it, SIA by Like, all that, all that shit don't, it don't run with me. When you get to meet someone that, for the first time, you don't really know them, and they start making digs, especially the SIA badge. Is that all I'm good for? What? All I need to do is be telling people not to get into the clubs and turning people down. I don't know where you come from or the town you live in, but black people around here, we're educated, we have a job, we have nine fives. So to label me as a security guard, it's a bit harsh. I'm touched, but I'm not impressed. We come into the house, respect my space. Just see what you think, because I'm the new 
done in town. You want to try try push the buttons, well, I'll lace you. And then... It's all a wrap. It's all a wrap. We're not talking Playing, anymore. playing devil's advocate, though, do you think it's more a case of trying to be cool with you? Because you got to remember, yeah, let's, the, truth, the reality of it is mm. you're a much bigger dude than it. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So maybe playing into the insecurity, maybe that's his way of... No, let me, Mark, bless, innit? Like, yeah. let me, let me ban over my man, innit? And he's a banter yeah. kind of done. It comes across as annoying, bro. We're not, we're not, we're not trying to do stand-up comedy. Like, yeah. fuck all that shit. Dennis, Let's be real. Are you look, gonna come out, or are you gonna see, see the thing is, look, sit on the fence? Look, I'm confident with myself. I don't need to attack nobody. You see how you deal with a fool? You just don't give them nothing back. It's not a talking thing. I already have identified he has a complex. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. So when that complex is dead in on my side, like, you don't get to me. It's like you got a lion, you got a hyena. I'm a lion, bro. Do you understand? When a hyena is looking around for my scraps, I'm looking at them and say, yo, do your thing. A hyena will never step to a fucking... Do you fucking... know I just fucking deep to man just call man a hyena? <laughs> he is. He's a laughing hyena, bro. Do you understand what I'm saying? Big homie's not feeling none of that. You know what I mean? Looking like the tiger's about to come out the cage. Obviously, man will do what I can to you, you get me? Douse the fire and that. Well, you never know, innit? Yeah, I'm gonna have to set off on man, you see it? How do you feel about him? Because it's all good and well, like, I can come and play, because I can block the whole set, but how do you feel about him? Love what sets. Do, do, you, know, do you know, the truth is, yeah, mm. Donnie's got a good heart. So, fuck, you know. Fuck a good heart. He's like that with the beanies. He's like that with everybody. There's beautiful girls in the house, yeah? Thank you. It's cool. And <laughs> which leads on to the next girl that I want to talk about. There's people in the house that really don't know who I am or know who you are. Mm -hmm. So they're taking on face value. value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially when we go into them debates, that's how you sort of size man up or people size each other up yeah, mm. yeah. for the rest of how things play out. Yeah. So if you don't want circle cool shit, it will continue to go like that and then eventually you'll, you might just penny man. Reva and Adrian are yet to settle their differences. However, Reva submits to being the bigger man. I did let off some steam on Adrian. I'm not going to deny that. I could have said what I was going to say, maybe a little bit more cooler, but I was just a bit pissed off at that time as well. I see he's in the kitchen and that. I'm going to call him and just have a little chat with him and just to soothe things out because I don't want too much, you know, higga hagger um, around our friendship whilst we're at this house. So I've pissed you off today, right? <laughs> I, don't, I didn't feel like the situation was big enough to like to go and you know say it to other people. I thought like what we said in the room was just like it. Yeah, I get what you're saying, but literally when I came down and I just saw them there, it was a vent. I just saw them. I'm like, <sighs> and you, and and the first thing I said was, you lot, I switched that, I switched that agent. Then it was why. So you get what I mean? It wasn't the topic. I'm just letting them know, guys. I've had an outburst. That's basically what it was. And then the question was, why? And I've said to them, I've explained to them what it was. You know what I mean? But when the girl showed me, Atelia showed me this guy's video that everyone's been talking about that I haven't seen. I've seen it, I'm enjoying it. I'm like, oh, this is the guy that's blown. You know what I mean? I'm just like, fucking hell, good on him. And then you're like, nah, whatever it was that you said, it wasn't positive. And then I was just like, I don't want it. I do not want to hear that. I just don't want to hear that. I get your opinion, like you said, you're absolutely entitled to your opinion. Do you know what I mean? If, he's, if you want to say he's fucking shit ten times, then what can I, I say about that? Shit. No, if, but I, I just said I didn't an example. Like My thing is like, I feel like a lot of mediocre artists get blown for things that are not particularly fantastic. Do I think they deserve it? That's up to God, that's not up to me. For me, as somebody who puts their life there, like, Everything into, into something. For something, and it's not—it's not even a competition between me and the guy, like, because I don't know him. When I look at the hype that's surrounding something, and I'm looking at it like, I analyze it like, what is it that he's done that so, makes him so fucking fantastic? And I know ten guys that can do the same that. thing, and they're, they're still. So when when the topic yesterday came up, that's why I was so passionate, passionate because yeah, I, I'm, I see it from Chip's position. For you as an artist. That's the, for me, that's the complete opposite that top sort of comment you should be no, making. That's, that's my see, opinion. That's the, I get it. I get you know it. But I mean? see, for me, yeah, I get that if I was on Twitter or I was on like social media, like berating the guy and saying, yo, this guy's shit or whatever. Yeah, but it doesn't that's have my, to be no, that. No, but wait, that's my personal opinion that I'm saying 
in confidence to somebody that I know. I'm not. I'm not belittling the guy in public. I've even tweeted the my years different to your years, but I'm still entitled to not believe that it's that good. And that, okay. and that's all I said. One of the main issues that really got me upset is. Reva keeps talking about togetherness and how we should be happy for one another and how we should support each other. And everybody knows I will go out of my way to support a new artist. But what she's saying is very idealistic and it's, it, it's, it's, I, it's, this, it's this perfect world that even she doesn't live in because this energy that Reva has in telling me to be supportive to other artists, I've never seen Reva show that to me or my music. So I feel like it's a little bit condescending for her to tell me that I should be supporting and I should be happy for people and there's an artist sitting in front of you and I don't feel that energy from you. I just don't want to come down the stairs and hear even like a, a do you know what I mean? Like those kind of things really irk me because then I'm like, okay, what haven't I heard? Do you get what I'm the saying? Adrian, fuck that. There's a lot, there's a lot you have never heard. There's a lot you've said that others haven't heard. We're never in control a, a lot in that. And, 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 Scrap that on me. Scrap that on me because when I when you said the thing straight to me, it wasn't like, all right, cool, you said that. Then I've gone downstairs to vent to them. I've just said everything to you straight. And then even when I heard that you heard me venting and you weren't happy, I still came to say, oh, Adrian, I heard you. So uh, with me, scrap that. Scrap that. Scrap that. My thing is, I just, I just don't want to be... Know I, don't, I, I know, but I don't, I don't want it to ever be like a situation where I feel like I cannot trust you. Adrian. Do you get that? And, and for me, I've had a lot of situations in the past that that kind of situation can make me feel like that. Adrian, that's what I'm saying. Free yourself from all that. You don't need to trust me. You don't need me for nothing. You only need you. Fuck me. And that's what I'm telling you. And, and it's because you're an artist. If two or more of them not said it, I would go, you know how I said it should be you. Nobody deserves nothing from her unless they provide blood. That's what I said to her <laughs> yesterday. You get what I mean? But for you, on your journey, that's a perfect antidote, bro. To, to pray for those who are where you want to be. And that's how it kind of goes, especially if you're my bedroom. If you're acting up and you're being silly, you get it the most from me. Like, that's how it works with me, because I'm expecting better from you. While Esther is in the kitchen cooking for the house, some of the housemates are in the living area discussing relationship goals. Or should I say, Mrs? It's our job as men to protect you. It's a man's job to protect a woman, yeah? How do you think we protect you? Getting mad over Instagram messages. No, 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 we provide. No, 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 we provide. If someone tries to verbally attack you, that is our job to defend. Yeah. A woman is also supposed to defend her man and protect her mental state of mind. Of How are you supposed to protect her mental state of mind is this, yeah? You know you're not doing shit. Yeah? You ain't doing shit, yeah? But the reality is, yeah? The reality is, don't let the mind be occupied with thoughts. Nigga, your bum smells, you, man. Okay, you're gonna argue. Okay. <laughs> but you're doing cartwheels in my face, like, like. The air needs to be cleaned. But, no, How no, no, do you know, no, listen, there's a problem here with what you're saying, like. How's there a problem? In a relationship, how do you avoid doubt? I think you're both kind of saying the same things, yeah? He's, he's going the extra mile, like. You're catering for insecure men. No, 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 I'm not. In a relationship, to avoid doubt, you reassure, you reassure your man. I want you a certain way. Lucas. And if you don't want to be like that, we don't have to be together. You see it more than fuck I do. Fuck the passwords. Listen, nah, it is simple. That. No, fuck the password. Who's giving my man my password? See, there, there. See you? Nah, you're a cheater. No, listen, you're a cheater. I'm not. I'm actually not. Cheater. I'm not. OK, okay. you're my password. So you can't delete your messages when they come no. through. Hold on. So you can't you delete your message, but then you, you can't delete, delete your password. You, you, I won't give you my password because I don't fucking want your password. But I'm not, I'm not asking for you to have my password. I don't care about your password. I'm not insecure. You can have mine. You can see because I ain't got nothing to mine. Choma, you're an attractive woman. You know, I've seen series on how everybody's gone crazy about you. Let's face it, man. You've got the cheating characters. You need to tell me you can't give me as your man your number or your pin to your phone. That's fishy. We don't do that around here. Obviously, if I'm relating to my own personal experiences, then I now know I shouldn't be giving man my password. It just leads to a whole heap of drama and nonsense. Guilty people use anger 
as a defence mechanism <laughs> to try and deflect away from you. Like it's, it's called a double bluff. Rather than you say, you're saying, oh, I don't want your password, so so why do you want mine? But what, it's not even what, anger. It's not anger. It's respecting my privacy. Fuck you, mean. It's literally that. We're dating. I have a yard and you have a house. I'm not giving you my keys, bro. I'm not giving you my keys. Come anytime you want. Bell my line. I'll be there. But you're not getting my keys so you can walk inside my house anytime. Oh, someone's bum stinks, man. What is with you? <laughs> I'm bum smelling, innit? How are you the only body that's here smelling <laughs> bum? <laughs> I'm not saying, yeah, that, that you, some, your, your partner having your password, yeah, is a right. You can go through my Instagram. Um, no, I get yes. that, I get that, I get that, but hear what I'm saying. I'm not giving my Instagram password. That's, that's all I'm saying. Women always talk about reassurance. Yeah, but when, when you get angry when someone is, is asking for what they seem as their reassurance, it doesn't apply to all men. Some men don't care, some men do care. But if you're a guy that cares, that's his way of wanting reassurance. When a woman wants reassurance, it's reassurance. When a man wants reassurance, it's, it's insecurity. No, it's it, that's, that's what it is. It's like, oh, if you ask me questions, oh, you're insecure. Yeah. But, but when a woman asks it, it's, it's, oh, I'm just asking because yeah, I want my own peace of mind. Support. Assurance is what he's saying, as in, I, do you know what? I don't even want to know. I don't want to come across anything. Like, whatever's you don't happening, see it. Just, I don't want to see it. Just delete it. That's some people's that's assurance. That's Sometimes girls say, oh, um, this is who's messaging me. And, but why is she, but, but, why, and, why and, is she doing no, that? No, let me finish, let me finish. And, and, and sometimes, and this, this is very prevalent, they have deleted, they've selected the ones they want to show you, you and they have deleted the rest of them. That's too much mind. That's too many games, mate. It's too many games. Like I said, you can have the password, you see it for yourself. Who gives a fuck? Sometimes girls leave the ends from guys they don't fancy and delete the ones from the ones they fancy. Okay. That's what I said. Who has the time? If you're happy in your relationship, you're not going to do that. If, if there's something missing, like, I don't know, maybe your man's not giving you the attention that you want, or he's slapped, and he's slapped on that. No, why would you leave? The fuck, you just walk out of something like that? If you're not happy, leave. No, he could be going through something. You're not going to just So then if he's going through something, why does that excuse you no. to now do that? All right, then, what, 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 what is it? The other way around. What if, what if you got girls hitting you up? No, I don't know what you're talking about. She's not back in my point. She's not back in Hold on, hold on. We, me and you are going out, yeah? Uh, we're, going, we're going for a rough patch, yeah? So no. you decide to entertain other niggas by showing me. No, about... are you bro? are you deaf? No, I said I don't go as far as responding to these messages. Wait, but, but, so why keep it? Have you heard? So of I'm telling you, have you heard to of the delete the message. You get bare messages, but you don't give a fuck about the messages. You're waiting so for that you you one person to say, say hi. Say do you understand? What, what are you lot, what are you lot exactly arguing about? No, he's he's caring for insecure people. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're telling me to give my Why are you man keeping a trophy for? It's trophies, it's medals. I already know has her man, she's buff. I don't need next man. I don't need this to show me, look, this guy thinks I'm buff too, but I'm not responding. That's a dickhead thing. It is, it is a dickhead thing. It's a dickhead thing. Why would you show your man that? Why would you be like, man message me? What I'm trying to say, I don't want to see that shit in her phone. With all your muscle, and your good looks, you're still very, very insecure as far as I'm concerned, because if you feel like you need to go through your girl's phone to make sure she's not doing anything, you're very insecure. I'm all for reassuring your partner if you're, you know, if you feel something's going on and you want to check, I can show you. But if you feel like you need my password, then there's something really wrong with you and maybe something downstairs that you think that your girl's collecting elsewhere. Surprisingly, Esther and Nunu are in the kitchen. And it doesn't take long until something more than a conversation is sparked. Boy, did we see this coming. Do you want me to serve you? Do you want me to serve you? Oh! <laughs> Can you see your life? Get a cloth. Get tissue. Oh yeah, let me get that. Hold on. Can you see your last? So do you want me to serve you? Huh? Yeah, 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 but they said not now. Do you really not know how to cook? Hmm? You really don't know how to cook? <laughs> now I'm asking your question. Yes. Huh? No. The basics, when I have to. Is this enough? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Take. Thank you. Fuck 
on that. Spoon. Yeah. Or fork. See, it's ladylike to have a fork. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's ladylike. Are you not eating? No, no, no. I want you to eat. Ah. Hey. <laughs> no. I don't feel right. No, no, I don't feel right. Why? I don't feel right. Why not? If you're not eating, I'm not eating. What, do you think I'm going to poison you? No, but I just don't feel... Why are you not eating? No, I'm not. I'm still waiting for the chicken to finish and you're not... You're vegetarian. No, no, I can't eat then. Okay. I'm hungry, but I can't eat. Mm. I don't feel right. It's supposed to be a group thing. Everybody eat together. No, but at least so I, you can trust that you can eat my food. Yeah, of course. So I'm not an enemy. You're an enemy when, enemy when you want to be an enemy. <laughs> Even though I don't fuck with Nunu, I don't like her, I don't agree with some of the things that she's done or said, I'm not going to let the girl starve. And furthermore, <laughs> she can't even cook. The girl cannot cook because she's clean. We'll see anyway, whether she can clean or not. But I ain't no bitch. So naturally, as I said, I'm a mother. I ain't going to let the girl sit there and not eat. <laughs> she's been over oh, here. She started else. already. All that rice. Oh no! She so, so you're saying, Adia, who are you intimidated by? Don't get it twisted. Who, who, do, you, who do you find no, as a threat? Ah, uh, were you even there when we were talking? That was not. The nah, I just I, I came into a conversation and said you found. That's not what we said. I said, what did you say? I said, Esther is not my biggest threat. So who's your biggest threat? Reva, I think you're Nunu's biggest threat. To be fair. Wow. Oh. I swear, so you're, you're causing Why trouble. You now, like, earlier on, I was I was cooking, and I came into a conversation in between her and oh, production. Oh, they were talking about me. We weren't. No, don't be so silly. We were not talking about you, bro. Oh, the name wasn't, we were not talking about no, Reva. The name wasn't mentioned, but they were just like, oh, she said. I, no, she said, what Esther heard was me saying to Esther, finished, why are you, why are you that aggressive? Esther what is not Esther my finish. biggest threat. Okay, so let me know. Esther is not let, my biggest issue finish. here. Oh, I said, who's your biggest threat then? Then he goes, she goes, someone that's, that's basically, did you not say this, that switches personality, kind of, did you not Wait, say that? Wait, think of bipolar? Who are you talking about, though? Esther. Esther. Who's talking about anyone? So, so I then said, I then said, Oh, we weren't talking about anyone. Is. Zoe was Reba. asking me about. So you think I'm bipolar? I don't think you're bipolar, but she was just My like, experience. I personally feel from her personal experience, you know how you lot have had an up and down relationship? It has to be Reva. Who else would it be? But you can assume all we you have want a what to be. Down relationship? Up and down relationship. We don't have an up and down relationship. I think no. you lot, you lot no. are not cool. When, we first, be when cool. we first met, we were cool. Then we, we had a. a Discord. In, during our Discord, there was no up and down. Remember, I was solid. I was you were like, consistent. You that was it. You lot up and down. You lot up and down. You lot had up and down. But I was like, fuck <laughs> that. Then, when I was ready... Chioma, Esther, you two are more up and down with this girl they can ever be than I've ever seen with my eyes. Chioma, you're smiling with her. Esther, you're cooking for her. Let's ask her a question though. I'm Do you find Reva as your no. biggest, biggest threat? No. I never even said. Why are you? Why are you asking me who's my biggest threat? But you obviously, clearly, you said you made a statement that Esther's not my biggest threat. So, so who is? About. Who is? Do you even know what we were talking about before? You want to be her biggest friend. Right. No, that's the thing. She wants to be. Now, not, we're but she's not. The same now. We're not the same now. We're not. Ah, we're not the You're same. Really I don't. Not. I don't. I don't want to be your biggest friend. I mean, you see my. Never been. You see the way where mm. I am in my life. It's not yeah. that deep. Like, it's not that deep. Yeah. Is that the? You see what where, 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 where I am in my life. I, I, you see, even like you being my biggest threat okay. or me being your well, biggest but, threat. Okay. It's like this is insults like, now. It's, like, <laughs> really, it's not that deep. It's not that exactly. Earlier on, Esther, you said I was talking about you when I didn't say jack shit about you. And I'm still trying to figure out where you said that I was talking about you, and I'm still. I've got messages. Where you, where the public have said you have consistently said things. Continuously. Now let's not. Now, we, okay. Have you seen the evidence of what the public has said? I've seen it. I've seen it. Give so, me an example. Where you just talk about your in your live. Oh, you see Esther, yeah. Like this is how Esther should have reacted. That's you having my name in your mouth. Are you mad? Yes. Do so you, you haven't done that. Think, you haven't done that. No. So because you're not relevant in my life, Esther. No, 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 no. I don't talk about no, no. people I don't give a fuck I about. Can, I, can, no, no. I don't give them the attention. You do give me the attention. Nini, do you give a fuck about me? <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Clearly, because I was crying the last time I was on season two the, with Reese Parkinson. Was I not upset? 
Clearly, it was real emotion. So, so you care about, so you care about Reba, but you don't care about Esther. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, precisely. Congratulations. I have never said jack shit about Esther. Outside of back chat, you're you're doing your fighting. Like, stop. You're you're really defensive. Calm down. Like, what would you think? I'm talking about you. I have seen you do what. Do you know what? Yeah, I have not I said swear. jack shit you know, about you, you know, Esther. Hey, listen, you're not public, that important. Public. You think you're on this level. No, listen, public, I have not said public, jack shit about public, you. Public, yeah, you're angry public. about something. You're really you're, angry. Something's you're wrong. It's like, you know, what you say comes out later, innit? People will find okay, something that's cool. that you That's calm. Let's so bring it all say, out. So if you said since the reunion in 2000, and, is this earlier this year? Okay, so if you're saying between January of this year and this current time, you have not spoken about me, you stand by that? Public cool. Me. Stand by what you say in it. That's one thing I always say. 100%. Stand by what you say. If you know in your heart of hearts you ain't spoken about me, you ain't even gone on your live and made any dig, uh, Esther should have reacted like this, though. I've seen it with my own two that. eyes. I have not that's said fine. That. I, I, listen, I'm not here to argue with someone that's a, 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 a liar, innit? So I'm a liar now. Yeah, you, you're Why lying. Why would I lie? You, you haven't even got the evidence. When you've got the proof, come and present me with the truth. Because I haven't said nothing about you and I don't need to say nothing. No, but you're not that important in my I'm life. I'm not important. Eat my food so that I cooked, innit? So just eat my food that I cooked. Eat my food I've that I cooked. I have not said anything about you, Esther, because there's nothing relevant I need to say about you. What do I actually need to say eat that has not already eat, been said? Eat the food you know that, yeah. that I cook you know what, and enjoy. It's okay. beautiful. Right? That's right. Because guess what, Esther? You're separate from your food. Your food is beautiful, but it doesn't define who you are. So I'm not going to say, oh, because we have a problem, her food is shit. If your food is good, your food is good. You know, the audience like drama and like they like to just hear gist. You understand? When someone asks you, oh, what's the issue with you and Esther? You don't care about her. You don't even have to explain it. Do you understand? People, people ask me all the time. People ask me all the time. Oh, what's going on with you and Honey? What? Who's that? Like, what? Do you understand? I don't know her because I don't genuinely care about her. If you don't care about Esther, there is no need to talk about her. You'd be like, yeah, seen, Esther to today has video. Esther brought off the receipts. Because when Snaps. she can bring the receipts, then I can say yes. Yeah, Snap. I have not said nothing Snaps about her. expire. She's not gonna no, screen record it to have it here to yes, come she here. Would. No, if she really wanted to prove her point. But she didn't even think she was gonna talk talk about this with you. Let's be real. But she really did, because she knew I would be here. We both knew she would be here as well. I understand that everybody thinks um, whatever Esther does, I do, and whatever I do, Esther does. Esther is a very close friend of mine. I absolutely love her. Let's not get it twisted. But she has her own mind and I have my own mind. I have come into this house as weird as it might sound, to be friends with Nuni. I want to really get to know the girl. I want to put everything behind us. And ideally, <clears throat> I want Esther to put everything behind her. So I just want to get to the bottom of this. After another eventful day, dipping in the tub, having a bit of fun and dodging smelly bums, it is now time for the big debate. It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Cause baby, I feel real good and I wish I would. It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Everybody watch out. Watch out now. I'm ready for a good time. And I came to groove. The whole band's here and we came to move. Got a fresh haircut and two new shoes. We're here all night like we got nothing to lose. Coming out the jacket, cause we're turning up the heat. I wanna see you clapping when you get up out your seat. It's time to make it happen when we hit these streets. Should the Me Too movement change the way we approach sex? I think it should to a certain degree. It's sad, it's beneficial, but it's also sad because it's almost like men can no longer be themselves because any little thing can be used against him and made as an allegation. And obviously for those who don't know about the Me Too movement, the Me Too movement is um, basically a movement for women to make, well not make claims, to for women to come out and say, you know, um, they might have previously been sexually assaulted by, let's say, for example, a work colleague. Like, you know, nowadays some people can say, if you look at me for more than five seconds, a man looking at a woman for more than five seconds, it can be looked upon as, you know, he's sexualizing you in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable. Someone can now report that and you can, that gentleman or that man will get into trouble. That could be suspended from work, you know, that could be an investigation into his characteristics at work. So I can, I must say, I get the movement, it's a positive movement, but I feel like it's 
it's almost like the failure for men. In this society we're living in, people are only feeling confident enough to come out about their sexual experiences. We women have been, people have been suffering for years, decades. They've not said nothing in silence. And this is like a community for black, not black women, women in general, <laughs> to feel confident enough to come out. All these allegations are true. Look at Bill Crosby. They are true. I don't, they are, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, I watched a documentary, so Bill, Bill Crosby. Not all allegations Not all that have come out are true. true. People have been acquitted of their, okay, their crimes. It's a minority. It's a very, very minority. Because now we're taken away from the bigger message because of one or two people that are lying for a bit of money. The majority of people are saying the truth. Yeah. Nobody is going to come out and start accusing a man. Is there a statistic? There's about 0.4% in about the 2017 census in the US, not the UK, that says that only about 0.4% of rape allegations were actually false. When I say it's against men, all right, let me give you an example. A lot of people, a lot of couples have met each other based in their workplace. You know you spend more time at work than you spend at home. Yeah, do you understand? So a lot of couples, a lot of marriages have been formed because they created a relationship from work, yeah? So now, if you've got this Me Too movement in place, which is good for its own reasons, it's, a, it's kind of restricting a lot of people from meeting in each other. There was a research that came up because I've been involved in the Me Too movement. I did a campaign not too long ago. And when I did that, it was, this was part of the research that we found. Back in the day, a lot of people were openly were able to meet each other, form marriages, have families, because they met each other at work, because a lot of our times are spent at work. The reason I work. don't agree is if, 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 um, if a small restriction upon men is the cost of us having to look at sexual exploitation differently, um, then, then I think it's, 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 it's an occupational hazard work. Wait, if wait, you hold, look at your colleague for more than five seconds, yeah, you can, and they report that because they feel like you are sexual, your eyes are sexualizing them in one way or another, they can report that and you will be suspended. What I'm getting at okay, is that, yes, there will be a cost to the way that we look at sex and sexual interaction um, because of the fact that that, is, that may happen. But I'm saying the fact that sexual interaction between a man and a woman has been so heavily in favour of men for so long and that has led to men being able to exploit a woman, not just at work, but in movements where I think like Nunu said, they haven't felt confident enough to come forward and say what they want to say. If, if that means that men have to be a little bit more guarded about or, or more careful about how they present themselves to a woman, I think that's a, a, a worthy cost to pay. And the reason I'm saying that is because we, we have to, the, the question said, should it change the way we look at sex? We have to look at it as a change because we're in a day and age where social media and the internet is allowing us to see other people's voices. Yeah. There, there are a lot of things that women were saying and screaming or have been screaming for centuries and decades that hasn't been brought to light because of the fact that they felt that their voice was singular. Now, now if you experience something, a movement like Me Too can show you that, hold on a second, do you know what? Someone, some, someone might have done something to me and I might have thought, oh, do you know what? It was just me in it. Like, if I say something, no one's going to believe me in it. But in today's, in today's society, the, the fact that people are, are, are being... But I think it's so, it's so fixed on men. I think it's so fixed on men and it's kind of like, you're boxing us. Because it's your fault. It's your fault. Are they not the ones raping us? Are men not the ones raping us? There's a reason why men get raped too. Okay, but look, what's the statistics? So let me make a point, yeah? What's the statistics? I don't know if everybody, you know, social media is a big part in this, yeah? I don't know if everyone's familiar with the story that happened in Nigeria, where a certain somebody accused a cab driver of rape. Okay. Now, because of her social dominance, yeah, and because she's seen as a, I call it as an innocent party, we don't know her history. We don't know the guy's history, but because of her influential basis, she kind of used that as an opportunity to not only exploit, but discredit the guy. Do you actually feel like she exploited the Marxist? Yeah, I think she did. Oh, strong statement. It's a strong statement because at the end of the day... I that guys understand consent as well, Some, yeah. sometimes. Why I'm saying this is because when it was investigated, yeah, it was now found out that the guy actually didn't attempt it. She flipped the story because she had the presence. This guy's a normal working guy. But he did kidnap her, didn't he? No, he didn't kidnap her. He didn't kidnap her. He did not he kidnap, did kidnap her. her. Yeah, there was a video. There he was did a video. Not there was he a video. did not kidnap her. He did kidnap her. Listen, let me finish. She did not kidnap her. What happened, it's like storytelling, right? You tell a perception from one angle, yeah? She got in a cab, yeah? She didn't want to give him the destination of where she was going. Now, as a cab driver, are you going to go somewhere if you don't know the destination? 
Yeah? So now, if I tell you to get out of my cab because you don't want to tell me the destination, it means you don't want to pay and you want to mess me around. Yes or no? Okay. Well, in Nigeria, in Nigeria, yeah, in Nigeria. Yeah. Now, the embarrassment was too much for her to handle, yeah? So what did she now do? She talked to social media to create a mirage to implicate the guy, to make it seem like something it wasn't. She locked the door and tried to kick out when he was there because he tried to remove. If someone is trying to rape you, have you got the time to bring out your phone and say, yeah, you're on camera? Well, we have to, you know what, we have to now, because then people start chatting shit and say you didn't do it. So I heard about this, I saw it on social media because it went viral about the guy, um, the driver who was um, an Uber driver taking um, a young lady to her destination, but he diverted and it caused a lot of havoc because apparently she said that he was trying to kidnap her, rape her, X, Y, Z. Now, um, Mark saying that he doesn't believe the victim and he believes the driver, mm, I can't, it's a difficult one, I can't sit here and say I agree with him because for me according to the story that I know of I believe the victim because you know he's saying these points are oh, how could she have time to film it xyz but in a situation where you're panicking nowadays social media plays such a major part in the society that we live in that you can record something send it and everybody sees it within seconds so for me it's a difficult one I I I, I have to believe her. Nine times out of ten, most women, yeah, in a situation like that, are gonna run and get away as far no. as possible. Oh, wait, 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 let me freeze up. Me. So, okay, you said freeze up. You said freeze up. To me, to me personally speaking, I don't speak for everybody, but I speak for myself, yeah? That is a calculated move. Because if you freeze up, if you freeze up, your mind is not gonna think, draw for the phone and film this. No, it's going to be run for your life. No, no, no. No, what are you going on about? Basically, what he's saying is, yeah, your instinct, yeah, yeah, is to defend yourself, protect yourself, guard okay. yourself. If she throws up, oh, to right take out way. your phone and start recording it, and still, it's like, you're cal do you get that's, what, that's his point. That's a calculated movement. No, it's and not now, calculated movement. He was outside of the car, the, yeah. the door was locked, and yeah. this man was opening the gate in front of him. No, yeah, I saw. Yes, because there was a video and I saw him it's in front of a gate in front of him and the door was locked. So why are you locking somebody in your car that you want out and you're opening a gate? As a woman, me, if I was put into that situation being Sinead, not no one else, I don't know how I'd react, but if I was to think of it as my personality, I'd either A, freeze up completely so I can't do nothing, B, call some somebody, anybody, emergency somebody. services, something, yeah. or find a window for me to run. She said freeze. She said look for the nearest window. You said look for the nearest window. What was the other one? Oh, escape. Escape. That's her. Me, Nunu, might record. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. But the only thing I say is, um, the only reason why I kind of back you, kind of, is just because people are afraid of police all the time and they bring out their phones in those interactions. And I personally associate with celebrities. Me personally, I when I think about Me Too culture, I just think about all these usually white women coming out to accuse a man when he's successful or done some film or something. Don't That's see, how don't I don't have. Don't a, don't so, don't no, the majority is white. Bill Cosby. Um, I think that big opportunity. All right, cool. But what I've seen is, I said, I said, I'm seeing. That's a dangerous like, statement, bro. It could be, but to answer the question, I think. I don't think the Me Too movement should or should not change the way we look at sex. I think the Me Too movement is another, um, is another thing that makes us aware of what's it's happening. It's just a new law. It's just but a I new law. In general, I think in someone general, was bored. The whole, nah, it's not someone's someone bored, fam. It's real, fam. What you just said about consent, I think there's too much um, b blame on men these days. I, I, even though, even though, and the reason why I said that. You're raping us. You're the one raping us. What you're saying is mad, though. You can't say that. It's not, it's not we're not raping you. By, by law, technically, only men can be arrested or charged for That's rape. Right. No, by, but it might have changed, just let but him finish. Just let him rape finish. is basically, I'm talking about rape, not sexual assault. So rape itself is the act of basically something right. being inserted uh, uh, for an object in someone's body. But the point I'm making is that, no, no, it's a minority of men that actually commit rape. There are women who are, who are stern and can say, no, I don't want sex. And there are women who can be persuaded yeah. into having sex. I think mm. this Me Too movement is good for women who are like that because men need to focus on consent. This woman needs to yes. want, she needs to want to have sex with you. But if a woman can be persuaded, what does that say? That means she's not sure. So the rule, that rule, that rule is just, just favors her stupidity. They don't want to have sex with him or just whatever. And it's like, you know what? Cool, and that's rape to me, that's rape. I feel like we are missing a crucial element of the Me Too movement and we're making it this thing about man bashing and I really don't think it's, it's actually man bashing. That's what I'm yeah, 
But what I want to say is, what I want to say is, the idea of Me Too movement is the empowerment of women who have been sexually assaulted to speak up. Now, yes, in the media, it has focused on high profile, as B Money said, white women and white men and ex. You cannot you know, make that statement. Oh, wait, no. That is basically. Oh, chill, chill, it's it's not, you can't afford a statement. Let me finish. For a long time, men have been taught that they they are the ones in control of sex. And therefore, when they are in power, they abuse that power. Yeah. And when we look at people like Harvey Weinstein, when we look at people like Bill Cosby, they use their power yeah. to abuse yeah. women. But also what I wanna say is the Me Too movement is not only in specific um, association with women being assaulted by men. If you look at Terry Crews, for example, that was a man who was abused by a man. So we have to understand that this, this Me Too movement is more important than just simply like. It's, it's definitely illegal for a woman to force herself on a man. Irrespective, the man may not go to the court and prosecute her, but it's definitely illegal to do it. What is yeah? rape? Not, that's if you, hold on, assault. if you that's are a big rape. girl, if you are a big girl or any type big of girl, man, I and said I rape. said, listen, hold on, listen, Listen to me, if you are a woman and I am a man, whether my penis stands up or not, if you put my penis in your vagina with, uh, with me saying no, that is rape, period. Yeah. Uh, now, if I go to the police and report that, that's a whole different case, which is why men are disproportionately un underrepresented in the legal case when we talk about rape. But this whole thing about man bashing, I feel like it's taken away from the Me Too movement because it's not about man bashing. Hold on, hold on. By law, only men can be charged with, um, sex, with rape and I'm gonna bring my phone out just so you guys know that I'm not chatting was. Uh, you like that? I said was, it's a young person slang. What is rape? Rape is a criminal offense and can only be committed by men. Rape is defined as the penetration by a penis of another person's vagina, anus or mouth without that person's consent. It doesn't include penetration by the fingers or an object, but anyone who commits one of these acts could be charged with the offense of sexual assault by penetration and this offense is as serious as rape. And the last one is women cannot commit rape, but they can be charged with aiding and abetting someone else to commit rape. Growing up, I've, I've, there's been a host of people who have, or men, shall I say, who have been wrongly accused. And this Me Too movement is a great thing in the sense that yes, it should make men reassess how they are pursuing, approaching, viewing women. Do you get what I'm saying to you? 100%. The thing that I'm slightly worried about is we're living in a culture where it's a very, very me versus, uh, man versus woman, yeah? Now, if, if for example, me and you, me, for example, me and you start talking, we get into a sexual situation and you was consenting at that time, but I've led you on, or I've messed you about, or I've shambazed you, yeah? <coughs> and it's now come out on social media that, you know, you're a twat. You now turn around and say, well, he raped, he raped me. It, 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 didn't go, it didn't happen like that. Or you're in, a, you're in a house party, you two are doing what you was doing throughout the whole night, people see you together, you go to the toilets, you look beat, people are knocking on the door, they, find, they can see that you lot have beat, Word spreads around, she's a boy, she beat in the rave. Do you get what I'm saying? She goes home the next day, wakes up, rah, fuck that, I didn't consent. Do you get what I'm saying? It is, it is a dangerous, it is a dangerous thing for men. It's more putting, it's more putting institutions to be used, like workplaces. The only people it will box in is people who have those tendencies, period. If you do not have those abusive tendencies, you will not do it. The positive thing for men is that we grow up, I can tell you 100%, growing up, certain ways that I used to hear the men in like my uncles used to associate with, or some certain things that they would say growing up of how you should approach a woman, things you should say to a woman, the way we're walking past a woman and they're like, Wah. you know, they say stuff. And if, and if, and we all know this, if the girl doesn't re reciprocate that feeling, be like, oh, shut up, you slut. It's teaching your male children how to act accordingly in sex and in, in, in relationship with women. There is nothing wrong with teaching your, your, your boy child how to appropriate, how to treat himself properly. Rem remember, when girls are growing up, we teach them, don't do this, don't do that, but we allow boys to be free. It's teaching them there are boundaries. You do not step over those boundaries if you are not encouraged to. Grey areas. Not here for the grey areas. Hello. Not here for the grey areas. The sins of my forefathers shall not be bestowed upon me. There are some women 
that are open, who give off the impression to a man, because you know, you feel that aura between each other, then you feel like, okay, raw, I'm getting this positive energy, she's giving it back to me. That signals to you that raw, okay, I, I'm, 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 I might have a chance. Now, if she's giving you those signals and she's open to it, how is a man supposed to know whether he's let crossing boundaries? If she's got her hand on my leg, you know, she might have rubbed up on me. For him, I can't, you can't blame you if he goes in for a kiss because she's flirted with him. Society teaches men that like Adrian said, they are in control of most situations, yeah? Especially sexual situations. So therefore, in, in today's society, when someone suggests that there is a conversation to be had about how men treat women, certain men don't understand why that is a problem because they've never experienced that. Men don't experience what women have to experience. It's the women who have to go through these things. So therefore, when you're talking to certain guys about it, they're like, oh, what do you mean? It's not that bad. It, 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 I, I do agree, and to back you a little bit, that women who lie about sexual encounters with men should be held accountable for their action. If you encourage someone and, and like, they have sex with you or whatever, you then change your mind or whatever, or you decide you want to lie on them, that's when the situation gets very, very serious. I'm saying that's wrong. People shouldn't do that. But you have to pay attention to, I don't know the statistic, but I do know that it is absolutely disproportionate the amount of, 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 of false allegations compared to the reality. So what you're saying is you're focusing on the little percentage of people who, who do, hold on, who do, make, who do make men feel boxed in, yeah, because they have lied. That is, that is, that is a problem. But, but, but the seriousness of the situation is that there is a, a massive majority of women who experience this on a day-to-day -day basis, and, and certain parts of society try to make it seem like, oh, it's not that big a deal. It's not, uh, it's not that. It is a massive problem that needs the Me Too movement because we need to address it. The first thing my mom used to say to me yeah, was, Lucas, when you interact with a woman, yeah, if you don't get yes, don't do nothing. But that's because your mum's a woman. Because you, you, gave, you gave the example of well, when... It's a man hold on, you. man. Why are you making out like men just teach us? I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that the, the approach is different. Which men? Did your dad teach your brothers that? What are you not talking about, bro? Yo, I am frustrated at this debate. You know what? This is what irritates me about when we get into heated debates and people just start shouting over each other. This was a perfect opportunity for me to kind of talk about the Me Too movement and how it encourages me as a survivor of childhood sexual molestation. How I can talk about how it's made me be more forthcoming and more willing to, to talk about what happened to me when I was five, but missed opportunity because no one would listen. <laughs> Men encourage other men do, to be men. Like, why are we pushing this agenda like, like men just tell a uh, little boy, go grab that, grab that. It don't work They like do that. tell them that. Are you mad? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Say, say that again. Men are always above women in everything. Everything you can look at, even little adverts you're going to watch in primary school, the things we're taught, Henry VIII, he's allowed to cut his nine wives, cut off their head if they don't give him what he wants. At the end of the day, men have always been above women. But we got to talk about it today. Cool, but that's still, that's still happening. Because of my upbringing and how I grew up with my, the way my mom was with me and my family, the reason why she always said, when you interact with a woman, yeah, the one thing you do is make sure that that woman wants whatever it is that you guys are going into. It's a joint effort. Because her biggest fear was, Lucas, don't let them rope you into something that's not you. Do you understand? So if two of you are going away with a girl and you know, it's a good night, turn back. Don't risk it, don't chance it. So I get what you guys are saying. Like, yes, this Me Too is amazing movement because to an extent, we're using the wrong word in terms of boxed in. It should allow us to think. Thank you. Before we act. Yeah. yeah? But the flip side of that, and I'm only speaking for London and what I've seen growing up and the environment that I've grown up in, yeah? A lot of the time when we was young growing up, a lot of girls got themselves into situations that they were complicit in, yeah? Yet they lied after the fact because they were, let me finish after the fact because the situation didn't play out in their favor or was embarrassing or whatever. Sexual consent is not just when you get in the bed, before you put on the gym, like, do you want to do this? It's a feeling thing. Do you get what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's body language, energy, vibes. Chemistry. And chemistry. And sometimes vibes, chemistry, all of these actions are louder than words. Do you get what I'm saying? So if, I'm, if, you're, if you're giving me the signal, giving me the signal, yes. If I'm that guy that's aware of things like this, if you're not that guy that thinks like that and you're in that environment, well, listen, you're giving me that, that's, you're giving me the signal, B, and you go in for the girl that's giving you the signal, yeah. but yet it now flips. Yeah. 
Where do you draw the line in, okay. do you know what I'm saying? Everybody's raised here the benefits of the Me Too movement. We don't need to bring that up, but obviously there's a minority also, like Esther was saying, imagine like, because I've been in it like before where I've been in a workplace, someone's flirting with someone, what even Chinese people, like, I swear they're dating, something's going on. Then something actually happens and it's their word against theirs. But even before it gets to that, imagine this now, you're in a workplace, I'm in a workplace, I'm nice to you, I'm nice to you. You feel there's a vibe, I could be joking with you, I could be thinking you're my friend, but it's unclear because we're key keying and all the yeah. rest of it. At what point, because remember, like she said, it's been put into place in most working environments, it's that true. if I go and say, he touched my leg, he was looking at me for longer than five seconds, seconds. all of these things, that guy then gets an investigation or gets suspended, he yeah. can't feed his family, mm -hmm. he's all these key keying, and it's literally just based off the fact, ah, uh, I thought she was giving me the signal. H how do you prove who's That's wrong and who's right? A lot of companies have started or, or, or have um, rules and regulations, yeah. workplace rules and regulations to combat that now because of thanks to things like the Me Too. And the reason I'm saying that is because a lot of companies now frown on people starting interpersonal relationships at work because, yeah. because, well, hold on, yeah, because it creates a grey area that could end up going both ways. So the guys could be victims of that. So yeah. to avoid that, don't do it at work. And that's why Lucas said, his mum said, if you have any sort of doubt about the situation you are in, especially knowing, knowing, especially knowing that we are in a place where these things do happen, think, use your brain and be like, do you know what? This doesn't feel right. Something just feels a little bit iffy. Let me just remove myself from the situation. Because if you carry that through and in the morning the person decides, actually, I did not consent to that. We, and and another thing, another thing. Before, before, before you do that quickly, just yeah. a, a spin on what you just yeah. said, yeah? As soon as she says no, Pull up your trousers, get the fuck out of there. But you talk about goggle visions, you talk about when you're, you're horny, and when you bust a nut, <clears> when you have a wank or whatever, straight away you get clear minded. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Post nut clarity. <laughs> <laughs> you get clear minded. In certain situations, possibly, isn't, isn't it a. a, a, a how am I wording this? Isn't it like. What, what, I don't know how to word say? it, but I'm it's trying to. Determine, difficult to determine. Or to if, regulate if, 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 if Yeah, how do you regulate that? Because we've already started you beating. You can't, and, and you've you know given why, me you all the why, science to beat. Do you know why? And then now you said no, which is fair. Do you know yeah? why? So you can't. But from the man's perspective, it's, it's almost like... If a girl says stop and you go an inch past the red light, you rape, straight up. Whether she decides to go ahead or process it that way, you have. Prior to this conversation, I didn't really um, understand what the Me Too movement was fully. But, you know, listening to everybody's contribution to the debate, I think it is it's good. Um, <clears throat> it's giving women a voice, women who are not so confident, um, who have been neglected, abused or whatever to come forward. And I think that's that's what we need. Um, we need to be educated women and also men. It's good to put some fear in men that if you if you slip up, there's me too movement to come and correct you. Do you know what I mean? So I'm definitely all for it. Um, yeah. So where those guys aren't strong enough. Yeah. To pull up. Yeah. There's always gonna be people, there's always gonna be people in this but conversation. Not right, but you, 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 that would be right. You know, like sometimes you have sex, you don't even hear what she's saying. You don't you're, you're just deep doing in. the thing deep in. That's what your mental your mental state of mind has to regroup. Because physically, physically, your what you're doing is a physical act. Our brain is what keeps us working. If uh, that's why they always say. Make sure when you're having that sex you hard, you know. that <laughs> when you, make sure when you're having sex that this girl is happy. Are you? I know it's corny or not she corny, but happy. are you okay? Are you happy with this? You know there's something. Say something that communicate, communicate, with, communicate with it. Communicate. communicate. You, you have to reassure her because if not, at any point, if she, her being quiet and silent and frozen That's could mean me. she don't yeah. want it no more, but, but she don't know how to say also, it. To add on to what you're saying, you know, even even women um, have been reported to like. Because oh, there's this thing about us, but she was wet. Even, that don't even mean nothing. A woman can, a woman can still be wet, but still not. A, a woman can still en enjoy. Apparently, like, you can still enjoy sex, enjoy it, but no, what? No, it's mad. Like a woman can still. Listen, this is what I'm saying. Man just takes signals and think it's go time. Go ahead. What about communication? I actually have a friend, and um, he's quite a good friend of mine, and we talk about loads of things. He actually once told me about a situation where he was talking to this girl in a club, whatever, they went back, whatever, they started having sex, but he was like, for some reason, the vibe was just off, and I said, this is mad. How this was came about is we were having a conversation about, um, have you ever started having sex with someone, and then in the middle, just stop and walk out? And he was like, yeah. I was like, rah, how did that happen? And he said to me, he went to a club, he was flirting with this girl, whatever, pretty girl, everything like that. They ended up going back to her place, they got into it, started having sex, and he was like, but the vibe was just off. There was something 
something off. off yeah. And he was like, even though she didn't give me no signals and she didn't say anything, he said, no, I had to get out of there. He literally so I... stopped, pulled up his pants, and was like, I had to go. Uh, can I just say something to you? So wait, wait, some wait, guys, wait, wait, wait. so some guys can feel the vibe. What if that girl, devil's advocate again, yeah. at that point turns around and says he raped her? Wait, can I just say something to you? Before God she... forbid that oh, didn't she... happen. As girls, because obviously this is, when you've ever had sex, the person you're with has, has not getting positive vibes from you. Have you not ever just been like, has he not ever said, oh, are you okay? Yes, is everything okay? Do you get what I'm saying? I've had that. Like, yeah. oh, is everything cool? Are you sure? Like, is, is yeah, you cool? I've Maybe because I was I quiet and I weren't really making the ha, ha, he noise. Do you get what I'm saying? There are men that will know that the vibes is not okay, that will know that the woman is dry as fuck and say, oh, let's go get some lube. No, I'm not even wet. wet. Why am I not wet? Because I'm not on it. I'm not feeling you no more. You're thinking my dick is still hard. Let's go and use lube. Close your legs, close your legs, close your legs, close your legs. Close your legs, close your legs, close your legs. Close your legs. Can I just say, wait, 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 can I have to say one more thing? I will never forget, I will never forget Lucas and um, Gogo. There was a time when you said, if I take the woman to a club, five star restaurant, and I do all this for her, I'm expecting sex. That was biscuit. That was biscuit. Why did you guys say that? Look at that false allegation. Hold on. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Seriously. Can I just say? Can I just say? What are you talking about? I'm talking about. We're talking about You're sex. You're chatting shit. No, I'm not. What did we're you say right sex. now that made any sense? Okay, because you didn't even let me finish. You didn't even let me finish. One, we didn't say any of that. Lucas. Okay, you didn't say it. My bad. You didn't say it. I thought what you said point? it. But look, you see that? You see that right there? <laughs> Oh gosh, Nunu, Nunu, you've come again, bruv. Nunu. <laughs> it's not Lucas and it's not Gogo, babe, it's Biscuit. I, even if it's not you on you, there's a lot of men yeah. that when they spend money on a woman, yeah. take her to a five-star restaurant. There's an expectancy. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Now, if I then go around and say no, and you still continue to do it, then what is that? So what does that relate to? What's that got to do with what we're saying? We fully agree with that. You, you guys were just laughing. What was the point that you had just... She's proving the point of what no, men's mentality is. Sorry, I'm slow, I'm slow. My manners just remembered. You know what, I just thought about it. Yeah, because you just drew two men out, you know? So be clear about what your point no, was. it's not even them. Why do men have that expectation of women? That's my point. Why do women have expectations of men? Do you think it's right? Look, look at Lucas. If we flip that, yeah? If a, a, a guy wakes up yeah, and, a, and to me. Well, hold on, well, no, well, no, 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 well, no, 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 wait. If a guy wakes up and the girl is sucking your dick, yeah, yeah? so it is, that is technically, that is technically rape. it's rape. That's not true. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. A lot of people in society aren't going to look at that as an issue because they're going to be like, oh, you're man, you're man. How can you not like getting your dicks up? Okay. So, so the point I'm trying to make is when men do get sexually assaulted. They don't come forward with things like that because it seems. Okay, Gogo, seen wait, as, I just want to say something. As, Gogo, can yeah, I just say something yeah. to you now? For me to lie in a bed with a man, like you said, you gave an example, lie in a bed with a man. I'm so sorry, I've woken up in a past where, you know, my man's touched me up and he's put himself inside. That's why I didn't me. say your man. Like, but, but that's what I'm saying to you. But for you to be in a bed with a man and feel comfortable enough to lie with him, do you understand? That's why I use the example of husband and wife. Who lay together. But can you consent a night before though? Right, can cool. you, or can you consent a while before? It's like saying Staying I don't mind. Like, when you're sleeping, you're not flipping paralyzed. Like if I if if I can feel my man touching my bum and he's moving my yash, I'm good, I'm gonna open my eyes and I'm gonna know what's going down. And I'm gonna be like, oh, it's it's that time. Do you understand? I might rub his thing as well. I'm consoling. I don't have to say yes. You, you could be you could be you could be intoxicated. You might so not even feel someone touching yeah. you in your Many different scenarios are you lying in bed with a man? You are biased. What you said about no, I'm not biased. Just because you're lying in bed with a man don't mean his dick you, it can be inside you. It don't mean his dick can be inside you when you wake up. You can be sober, intoxicated. It doesn't matter if it's your man. It doesn't matter if it's your man. I said it's not consensual. What if you don't feel, what if you want to wash your fanning when you wake up? What if that's before, before you have any type of sex you want to wash yourself? Do you understand? Exactly, like. No, I'm not, I'm not arguing with you though. Frig me, I do not think I can wake up with, with peace inside me and that is, that's shocking. I need to at least be poked, prodded by my man, ask my permission, just let me know, I don't, that's creepy, it's all rapey, it's all weird, I can't, I'm shocked, I'm fucking shocked. If, you, if someone's touching your leg, you're not going to feel someone's touching your leg. A man could just insert his dick and you don't feel they the can't do what you do. Yeah, but Esther, Esther, if he's put his dick inside you already, yeah, there are people who are in 
relationships, yeah. but they're in abusive relationships. Okay, true, and they're true, in, true. They're in love with the abusers, yeah. but they might not want to have sex when their man's forcing themselves. But that's okay, her man. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I get your point. You said something about intoxication uh, and in your consent thing. Do you know that technically a woman needs to be sober? So, but to consent. But a lot of people are having sex with people they meet at the club, yeah. or they go out and have drinks and have sex. Is that right? The woman says, but yes, it is because if they go to court and they say they want to. I think there's a gray area. So they're basically, she was in the right frame of mind. But that's the point. It's a gray area. And that's another, and that's part of the problem I have the problem. because we're making it sound like this thing is black and white. To be, to be on the safe side. And, 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 but we know that it's an area of grey. But the rape itself is an area of grey. But to be safe, just don't have sex when the girl's drunk. I believe there are a lot of grey areas when it comes to talking about rape and sexual assault and um, or quote unquote rape culture, if you like. And when you say a grey area, people is look at you with a raised eyebrow. But if you look at, for example, a lot of people don't even understand that if you are in a relationship, a woman can still be a victim of rape at the hands of her own partner. Because if she doesn't consent and her partner tries to have sex with her, he is still technically raping her. And um, they also say a woman needs to be in a sober state of mind to give consent. A lot of the time we see or hear about people having one night stands or going to see people after leaving a party. So for example, if I'm at home, I haven't gone out, and a girl calls me and says, what are you doing? I'm going to come see you after the club. And she's over the limit and she comes round for that purpose. I can still technically find myself on a charge because she, even if she's in my bed naked, she might not technically have said yes. And even if she did, she wasn't sober. So that is a bit of a blurred line. They could be clothed, half clothed, whatever. They're lying in bed together, yeah. separately. One's on this side, one's on that side. Yeah. The man moves closer and he touches her leg, yeah. does something or whatever. Yeah. She realises that he's got a bone on or whatever it is, but he kind of moves in but moves out. Yeah. She then moves back, because I've done this in my relationship before. She then moves back to put yeah. her yeah, bum on well. his <laughs> ting. Yeah. Hold on, yeah. let yeah. me yeah. finish. Yeah. She then moves back to put her bum on his ting. Remember, they're not boyfriend and girlfriends. They then end up having sex. Question, did she or did she not consent? She yes, didn't. she consented. Excuse me, wait, what? Let, let, for for me, to, let, let, in that scenario that you, you gave, the truth of the matter is, if she stuck her bum out, yeah, she consented to sex. But hold on, hold on, whoa, hold on, whoa, whoa. hold on! Okay, okay. Hold on, okay. hold on. Wait, 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 wait. You don't have to say hold yes on, to consent. Hold on, the point I'm telling me. Yes, you do. No, you don't. Wait, you do, no, you, you do. Don't. You don't even know what consent is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's about physical. Vagina, hold on. You don't know what consent is. It's not all about verbal. I can say yes in my body. Be money. I can say yes in my body. Let me finish. People missed the point because they were shouting. The point I was trying to make is that consent for women, yeah, isn't the same as consent for men because unfortunately, consent for women is more in their favour. If a man, if a woman did to a man, what a man did to a woman, it w society wouldn't consider that a problem. And that's what I was getting at. It wasn't, I was saying that if you, there are certain things that a man can do to you and you could be like, nah, and society will look at that as the man is being too forward. But if a girl did that to a man, mm -hmm. it wouldn't be considered so the same. So the answer to my question is what? Yeah. Why is she in his bed? Uh -uh. Whether she stroked his dick, whatever. She is now aware that he has a boner, yeah? She now does, this is the key point, yes, yeah. this on his penis. And then they start to have sex. Did she or did she not consent? They, 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 they start to have sex. How did they get there? This is what I'm saying. Because she did this. Wait, this is what I'm saying. You men are waffling. You men are saying. You sound listen, like rape. Yeah. Rape yeah. apology. No, let me finish. Hold on, hold on. It's a grey area. But if a detective like myself was looking at the case, I would look at key things. You said, stroke his dick. Why did she touch his dick? Why not? If she wants to, she can. Hold on. Bro, she, she could get you as hard yes, as fuck. No. She could suck your dick, don't mean you can put it inside her. Do you want to see the magic trick? <laughs> That's right. Men are now learning more, becoming a lot more aware about what's going on around them and possibly thinking twice about their behavior towards women. But then you also feel kind of uncomfortable because technically, if I go to, uh, to carnival and I go and start putting my crutch on a woman's behind to dance with her, that is technically, can be, that technically could be perceived as sexual harassment because she hasn't given me consent to come and dance with her. I know I'm using the dumbest um, example, but it's still, if you think about it, it's really that deep. Like, if I come and whine behind you without your consent, am I not technically sexually harassing you? I'm not for people taking the piss or overstepping boundaries when it comes to personal space, especially with women, but nor am I for people who take advantages of the law and use it as a way to destroy men. What I should have said, yeah, it's not consent to sex, but it's, it's consent to, uh, not consent, but it gives, it gives the impression that an approach is possible.
So you can't miss out the bit between her poking at her bum and how we got to sex. It's consensual because, as Nunu said, consent is either verbal or... Hold on, listen. Or, or, no, or non-verbal. So there are verbal and non-verbal cues. There are verbal and non-verbal cues. You, that is you, a non-verbal cue. How do you prove... Let me finish. Before you get on to part two, yeah? Yes. At the end of your story, yeah? Yes. We miss out one key factor. If the woman, if, hold on, if the woman now goes to the police station and says, I've been raped, then what is that? How many of you men have actually spoke to a woman and said, are you ready to have sex? Can I have sex? And you're telling me it always has to be verbal. How many of you have actually said that? That's a good point. But remember how we got here, yeah? Let's not, don't go back on what we're saying. Remember how we got here, yeah? Court of law and normal human interaction, yeah? When shit goes left, yeah? That's when you need to get your confirmations. Listen, did she say yes? Did she want this? No, that's not how the law works. That's not how the law works. No, wait, sorry, I'll, 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 I'll be quiet. The law does not work like that. Okay, okay. okay. I think... What we've shown today is that it's clearly blurred across the bar. So the Me Too no, movement itself, no, no, I think no, the Me Too, no, stop no. knowing me when I'm talking, dog. Love me. The Me Too movement is a great eye opener. It's yes, great eye opener. Our men are motherfucking trash. Men are motherfucking trash. Cool. Men are trash, but what you've shown us today is that even women don't even know what consent is. I'm done. Cool. So you should learn. You should learn what consent is.